My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. So we've been looking at this wide receiver battle. It's been pretty interesting. Um, I think the top three guys are pretty much safe. That's the Cooper Gallup Cobb trio. Then there's Tavon, who I think is pretty safe. Then there's Noah Brown, who's been hurt, but I think the team likes him enough to keep him there. And then there's this scenario where we got a lot of young guys that are really fighting for their last one or two spots. Um, and that's John V. Johnson, Reggie Davis, Jalen Guyton, Cedric Wilson. And then we got Devin Smith. Devin Smith isn't a rookie. Um, he's actually been in the league for a little bit uh formerly of ohio state speed demon type of guy uh went to the jets i think we got him in free agency or we could have traded for, uh, like a seventh or like a ninth rounder for him or something like that i don't know uh somebody double check i'm not you know off-season transaction guy or whatever but devin smith problem is that he he wasn't a bad player he was just one of those i run too fast for my hamstring type of guy so he just kept getting hurt so at this point in the offseason battles, your job as one of those four or five receivers that I name, it's your job to make plays. Okay. Um, if all of y'all are ranked pretty evenly, you have to show your value to the team. But what can you do in terms of receiver? You've got to make plays. And we've seen he's been the most playmaker out of all of them. You know, Cedric Wilson didn't even play last week because he's in the protocol. And when we think about uh, John V. Johnson and his drops, they kind of make our neck hurt a little bit. Just think about him dropping passes. So Devin Smith is emerging as maybe the top guy in that race of four. I want to take advantage of his big speed. So put him outside. Um, he's been making catches like this on the sideline, and I have a lot of respect for sideline catches. And he's been making some contested catches, which are very important. I wonder how many times this happened. Devin is lined up top here. Let's run it. I wonder how many times he's flat out beat somebody, but Mike White was doing Mike White things, whether the ball would be late, whether it be um incomplete to the uh to the inside or whatever or just you know he just flat out missed him or just didn't 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 see him because at this point that dude is beat that guy right there is sous vide barbecue chicken but mike white does mike white things you know what i mean um a part of me kind of wants to go back and do a little research and see how often you know devin white is beating people and and I would imagine he's probably smoking people with quickness and speed, but um, the ball is just not coming his way for whatever reason. But uh, that sucks, man. Reward that dude with a damn touchdown. And luckily, we got to take Mike White out and put Cooper Rush out there to reward my boy with a touchdown. That's a fantastic throw uh, from young from young Cooper Rush right there. Hey, and a, and a great catch from Devin. Hey, great, you know, good job getting open. Uh, good job getting that outside leverage right there, not running out of space to the sideline, making the play. Now, I know in the next few games, some players that normally would play ain't going to be playing. That's that's in game three and four. Um, but I do think that these big five young guys are going to be playing. Cedric Wilson has got to get back in the game right now. He can't afford to be on concussion protocol anymore. John V. Johnson has got to prove that he's not dropping these passes. Reggie Davis has got to show up. Jalen Guyton has got to make the most of his opportunities. Um, but as far as the best um, young receiver, um, as of now, as of coming off of week two, going into week three, Devin Smith been putting the nibble on the titty, man. Hey, man, uh, this was a quick one. Let me know if there's any other uh, any other film y'all would want to see. I actually got two other videos in the tank already, so that suggestion may be worthless. I'm sorry, but I still read a lot of comments. So let me know what you think about uh, Devin Smith and all that, and we'll... Um, you know, we'll we'll look at that stuff immediately but until then salute to the patreon people salute to my merch gang salute to affordablesticks.com shouts out to everybody that's tuned in and um y'all hold it down man peace
The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.